The Better Business Bureau, they are the team we rely on to warn us about scams, crooks, and con artists so we don't become victims. But that doesn't mean they can't get con too. 7 Action News reporter Andra Eisman is live outside of their offices. Andra, it's hard to believe that this could actually happen to the BBB. Guys, you know what? When I first heard about this, I'm like, are you kidding me? Them? The BBB? But then I said, you know what? It's just a reminder that criminals will stop at nothing. Watch this. Why does this face look familiar? She is Laura Blankenship, the director of marketing for the BBB for all of us here in Southeast Michigan. Well, one day, Laura was hard at work when she got an email that stated it was from the big boss at the Better Business Bureau, Melanie Ducanel, who was out of town. She had to go to a conference, actually, for BBB. And the email was sent on the very last day when Melanie was supposed to be traveling back. Now, usually... If she needs something, she'll usually send me a text. Yeah. But I thought, you know, she could be in the air. But to be absolutely sure... I just sent her a text and thought, you know, I'll just wait until I hear back from her. She goes, did you send me this? And I said, send you what? And she goes, you want all this information. It just doesn't sound like you. And I went, because it's not. What the heck is going on here? Business email compromise scams. What the heck is that? Someone will get an email from either the CEO of the organization or someone that has authority to request funds. And they're able to also determine when the CEO is out of town. And if you answer the request, what do the scammers get? Get access to the bank account information yeah. or just get quick access to money. Sometimes these creeps will even disguise as a payroll company or a vendor asking for payment. And they just pay it. Luckily, Laura is a smart lady. I did not respond to the email. And she did not click on anything in it either. But unfortunately, so many others have. There have been some very Fortune 500 companies that have lost a million dollars. Since 2016, $3.1 billion has been stolen from companies in this business scam. So if you happen to fall prey, for Pete's sake, speak up and tell someone in charge immediately because some folks hid under the desk and went, oh, if they would have just taken a second to say, I think I screwed up. That way, the real boss can get ahead of all the drama. These crooks are creative and will go after anybody and any business. We're the Better Business Bureau. They targeted us. It's not discriminatory whatsoever. Not even for the BBB. <laughs> not even for the BBB. That's right, and the Better Business Bureau has an amazing IT department, but things can still happen. So, to help protect yourself, make sure your malware protection is up to date. And if you get an email that seems suspicious, hover over the address. If you don't recognize it, if you don't feel right about it, delete it because we don't want any problems, right? Reporting live, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News. We always have to be so careful. Andrea, thank you.